This entire video was edited on this iPad using the LumaFusion app. And this is not a sponsored video in any way. I've just been curious to see as the iPad is moving from a device that was once purely for consumption to now something that you can actually use to make stuff, is the iPad a viable option for editing good quality videos? So if you buy an iPad, you can download iMovie for free. If that's the case, why would you wanna spend $20 on LumaFusion? And the difference is that LumaFusion is trying to be a mobile version of a more comprehensive editing platform like Final Cut Pro or Premiere. And I use Final Cut Pro to edit all of my videos. I love Final Cut Pro, so I'm not looking to switch. I'm just looking to see if this is a viable option now that the iPad is powerful enough to actually make media rather than just consume media. So some of the limits to LumaFusion are that you can only have three layers of video and three layers of audio. But even that goes pretty far beyond what you would be able to do with other apps. And truth be told, editing on a tablet still has its constraints just because no matter what, you're still editing on a tablet. And three layers of video, three layers of audio is probably pretty good for any of the projects you're realistically gonna do on an iPad. For huge, massive projects, you're still gonna need a desktop editor, but for you know simple YouTube videos, maybe a vlog or a tutorial or just like a family movie or just a personal project, this is really feature rich. Some of the stuff it can do, I'm really impressed by. LumaFusion seems to be a pretty decent hybrid between Final Cut Pro, Premiere, and DaVinci Resolve. It sort of takes little elements from all of those desktop applications and puts them into a lighter weight mobile version. The fact that you can do color grading on it, you can mix clips. I even put this whole composite where it looks like I'm on the iPad and the screen recordings are on the iPad. That was done within LumaFusion. This entire video was put together within LumaFusion. I didn't open up Final Cut Pro once. In addition to the app itself, the only extra thing I needed to purchase to start editing on my iPad is an SD to lightning adapter. So that way I can take my camera's SD card and import the footage directly to the iPad. I'm using the older 10.5 inch iPad Pro, so I needed an SD to lightning adapter. If you're using the newer iPad Pro, you'll need an SD to USB-C adapter, but otherwise everything's basically the same. You put in the SD card, a menu pops up that lets you select which footage you wanna import, and then you just import it directly to the iPad. Now the downside to this is that the iPad doesn't have a decent file browser at all. It's been an issue forever, and I don't know why it doesn't. But that means that all the footage just goes into your Photos app on the iPad, and you could put it into albums and you could kind of try to organize it, but really it's gonna start getting pretty messy if you're editing a lot of videos on the iPad. And this isn't an issue with LumaFusion, this is an issue with iOS on the iPad. So what I would recommend is to input your footage for each video to the iPad, edit it in LumaFusion, and then when you're done, delete the raw footage from your iPad, but be sure to save it on an external hard drive or another computer. If you've used any editing software in the past, LumaFusion should be pretty simple to learn. It's fairly intuitive, and I found that the few things I didn't understand how to do right away were pretty easy to figure out if I kind of just poked around in the app a little bit or did a very quick Google search. But for the most part, it, it works really well and it's really intuitive and it's been working great on my iPad, which is a little bit older, so if you have the newer iPads, it should work even better on those. The big test for me was to see if I could use the iPad to edit a video in LumaFusion that nobody would guess was edited on an iPad because it just looked like a normal video that you would expect from my channel. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the results. There's still a learning curve. It's definitely not as feature rich as Final Cut Pro or Premiere or some of the other programs but it's a really solid, by far the most solid mobile editing app that I've seen. And even if you're not planning to use LumaFusion to edit like entire videos, you can still use it to edit parts of videos. And I think that's really where it's gonna be the most useful. If you're on a trip somewhere or you just have your iPad with you, you can quickly edit a sequence, chop down some footage, and then share that into your regular editing software and put it into a bigger final video. But I think that it can really improve your overall workflow, especially when it comes to travel, all that time spent on planes or buses or cars or whatever, you can actually get a lot of stuff done. So in order to test out LumaFusion, instead of just editing this video right here where I'm talking about it, I wanted to import some other footage to play around with. So I have a mix of footage from the GoPro Hero 7 Black and the Canon 6D Mark II. The Hero 7 Black was filming at 2.7K, and the 6D Mark II was filming at 1080p. 
I also think I have a couple shots just for my iPhone 8 Plus that were in 4K. So kind of mixing a few different resolutions from different sources. I want to see how the software can handle that footage. So here's my takeaway from using LumaFusion so far on the iPad. The biggest thing is if you're somebody who only has an iPad to edit on, this is really usable software. You can create excellent quality videos. The app keeps getting updated and keeps getting more feature rich. So if all you have is an iPad, this is a really viable option to start making really good videos. You can even just use your phone, the iPad, and then you're creating great looking stuff. If you're not somebody who's looking to edit all of your videos on the iPad, I still think that if you have an iPad Pro, it's absolutely worth the $20 to get LumaFusion installed on it. It's a one-time fee, there's no in-app purchases, and even if you don't plan on doing a ton of video editing on your iPad, just knowing that it's there, you never know when you're gonna find yourself in a situation where it would be really helpful to be able to edit a video really quickly or put something together. And like I said, there are limits, the number of video tracks and audio tracks, but I think those limits are balanced pretty well with just the form factor limits of editing on a tablet in the first place. And so even if you could do everything that a feature rich, full on editing platform could do, I don't know that you'd really wanna do that on a tablet anyway. So this is a really good balance of form and function. And finally, a couple of unique benefits are being able to use the Apple Pencil and a touch screen to edit video. I've never done that before and the Apple Pencil is so precise and fun to edit with and change settings. It's much nicer than using a mouse or a trackpad, at least in my experience. And the touch screen is awesome if you're trying to place videos or resize graphics, the ability to just pinch and zoom and move and just place stuff as if you're setting it on your video is really cool. So I think that there has definitely gotta be a future for touch screen and stylus interactive video editing because it really adds a dynamic to the work that is really fun and really usable. So to wrap up, I just wanted to remind you that everything in this video, every single piece of footage was edited on the iPad Pro using LumaFusion. I didn't open up Final Cut Pro one single time. The only time my laptop was involved at all was to actually upload the video. And actually, to even take it a step further, I'm going to use Lightroom on the iPad to edit my thumbnail image. So all of the visuals for this entire video will be created on an iPad, which is just crazy that you're able to do that. And even though it's not perfect, sometimes we kind of need to step back and just appreciate the insane stuff that we're able to do in the world that we live in. And that's really my biggest takeaway from using this app on the iPad. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that was interesting. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.